Hello my fellow fanatics and welcome to my very first manga review. Today I take a look at the 1999 sci-fi western action manga Zombie Powder, which was the first serialized work by Tite Kubo, the mangaka of Bleach. This was one of the very first mangas I started reading when I found out I could read manga online. Mind you, this was when we still had dial-up modem, so you could imagine the waiting times I had to endure. The manga follows the tale of John Elwood Shepard, a young pickpocket who ends up traveling with Gamma Akutabi, a world-renowned criminal powder hunter who has a million, a hundred million bounty on his head. Together they end up in many misadventures while trying to survive in their mysterious barren world. Um, this manga had a mixture of good things and bad things, but it never really excelled at any of these points, so we were kind of left with a flat product. This was Kubo's first serialized manga, and I thought it was a good outing. All of the elements here are a precursor for his next manga, Bleach. For example, how he titled chapters were similar, the flow of the fight scenes, and even the character design was somewhat of a cruder, more western sci-fi version of Bleach. Um, the elements in the manga were kind of generic though, stereotypes all over the place, you have the anti-hero badass, the troubled youth, mad scientist, messed up antagonist, goons who are just trying to survive in the world, etc. Even though that was the case, the characters had a little bit of something in them that pushed them beyond generic. Some of the elements like the sci-fi western, which is a genre I love, or even the existence of the rings of the dead, and the theory behind them was cool and new. Gamma's character design was especially awesome, his whole being screams of a badass motherfucker, metal plated arm to catch bullets and a chainsaw sword, enough said. The action scenes were highly stylized and gory, and this is where the manga really shines. This manga had loads of potential but I think was never given the chance to materialize properly. For me, this manga didn't become successful because of the factors like the release of Trigun and how similar they were. Um, the Japanese weren't really fans of the western setting at the time. I think if this was released uh, years after or a couple years ago, it would have done really well since highly stylized action manga anime has done well around that time. There's so much you can do with the premise of this manga and the characters are personable enough that with a little more development it can get up to par with maybe Naruto. Too bad that due to the many factors it never got the time it needed to mature into an excellent manga franchise. Um, I hope you like this segment since I'm planning on doing more of these. But as always, thanks for watching.